I'm getting a lot of questions from sellers right now asking, do I still need to pay a commission to the buyer's agent on the transaction? And obviously it's a great question and it's coming from the National Associations of Realtors Settlement that has happened. And so the answer to the question is actually, no, you don't have to pay them and you actually never did. What you were doing in the past as sellers and traditionally what we've seen in real estate is the seller pays a commission to their listing agent. And that listing agent shares a portion of that commission. Typically half of that fee goes to the buyer's agent and the other half stays with the listing agent. That's what traditionally has happened. Now with this new settlement, the National Association of Realtors is saying we can are no longer allowed to advertise the compensation by sellers, not you can't offer it. So you don't have to now and you never did. Now, the question is, the real question you should be asking is, should I be offering compensation to the buyer's agent and how much? Now, let's handle the should I at this time. Think about how we get the most money for a product that we sell, whether it's our house, a widget, a car, whatever it is. I think one of the ways that we increase the amount of money we can get for a product is having the most amount of buyers in the marketplace that are having the attention of that product or being able to buy that product. Here's the example. Let's take a buyer that wants to buy your home. And this buyer has closing costs to their lender. They have settlement costs to the attorney. They got to provide a down payment, which is a lot of money. A lot of times they're going to put new furniture probably in, maybe replace a garage door and definitely paint some walls. So there's a lot of expenses the buyers have. Now, if they want to make an offer on your home, they like your house, but you're not offering any compensation to their buyer's agent. That means they're going to have to pay an additional fee to their buyer's agent. So the question becomes, are you limiting the buyers that want to see and buy your home? So we're sh are, we, are we shrinking the buyer pool for your property because you're not compensating their agent? So it's something to think about. The buyers are driving this market because there are more homes for sale today. Therefore, we want to be competitive and have all the competitive advantage we have. A lot more to unpack with this new ruling, but that's the main question I'm getting so far from sellers. I'll talk to you real soon.